Welcome back to Fright Night. Now, our champion jockey had Brian out of his saddle and dancing last week. Well, tonight, he's hoping to keep that winning post in his sights. Dancing the Viennese Waltz, it's Davy Russell and Kylie Vincent. <laughs> The one thing that Davy Russell has changed over the last eight or nine weeks is the ability to put on a show. Because there was one move you did. It's this one. The lucky seven. The racehorse could progress the way we progressed over the last couple of days. I'll tell you, we'll be on to a winner. Boom. Woo! In the semi-finals. Yes, Davy. So. It's going to be a little bit scary, but what's even scarier is that we've got the Vini's Waltz. OK. So it is Fright Night, and Davy and I are going to be skeletons, but hopefully he's not as wobbly as skeletons are. Oh, gosh. Are you dizzy? <laughs> so right now, the technical side of the Vini's Waltz, it frightens me, to be honest. The celebrities always think that the Vini's Waltz is going to be nice and easy, because it is so flowy and gentle, and it moves across the floor. But in actual fact, it is extremely difficult. Seem a little bit out of breath? No, no, not out of breath. Just worried. I didn't realise that. Uh... Is that much work? Yeah. <laughs> when you're in it, you're like the Tasmanian devil. You're spinning and you're moving forward. And you're powering through different parts of your body that you don't use in everyday life. It's hard work, isn't it? I want to make this my best dance ever. Because if I don't have improvement, then you know, how am I supposed to move on to the final? Smack! Better. I'm giving it my all, and I hope the Viennese Waltz is not the dance to stop me. Dancing the Viennese Waltz, Davy Russell and Kylie Vincent. Don't ask me what you know is true. Don't have to tell you I love your precious heart I I was standing You were there To what we had it And they could never tear us apart The glow up continues. Did you fall into a box of just for men on your way into the studio? What's going on with the hair? <laughs> it, lo it looks good it on him. Does it? Oh, you got a few moves there. The dancing was spectacular. I, I know you're always so hard on yourself, but you did a phenomenal job, right? Kind of work. Always work so hard. Always work so, so hard. We love having you here. Um, let's see what the judges thought of that. We'll go to Lorraine first of all. The lilting rhythm of one, two, three, four, five, six was so dominant, it made for a great piece of music and also a great Viennese waltz. And that's what I just witnessed, was a great Viennese yes. waltz. Absolutely. And there was a dark 
lightness to it as well. It was a dark Viennese waltz, but then you balanced it out with the lightness of the movement across the floor. Again, there was a lovely swing, the closing of the feet. Unfortunately, there were a few foot errors for me where we need to have a heel lead. You kept doing a toe, and I'm sure you thought it was right there, but actually not correct for me. Having said that, it was so in character, and I thought you both danced it and played it beautifully. Well done. Well done from the right. Okay, Arthur. Davey, Davey, first of all, we're twinning. I love that tonight. <laughs> Listen, you have come a long way, and I love to see that, you know? The, the thing is also, the way you open, it's so difficult to do on your own. On your own, you hold it, and it was beautiful. From a sportsman, your determination and your attitude to every single dance has been absolutely amazing. This Venus Wolves was gentle and soft, but yet it was creepy and dark, you know, and you were really enjoying every single step, and I was in it with you. Also, I have this thing about you. You have this aura that to make everybody love you. You yeah. can't <laughs> teach someone Dance steps, yeah, everybody can learn dance steps, but you can't teach someone the natural likability, and you have that, and it's so, so, so important. And tonight, you gave me a beautiful Venice waltz for the semi final, so thank you, Twinny. Oh, he said thank you. He said thank you, Brian. <laughs> well, I'm not sure everybody can learn dance steps, but. You're doing a good job. There was an old TV advert that went, them bones, them bones need calcium. <laughs> and you've obviously been drinking your milk because that is the strongest I've seen you look all season long. <laughs> the power of swing. You know, Lorraine mentioned the toes and the heels. Power of swing was brilliant all the way through. You also chose to start with the reverse turn in the, v in the Viennese waltz, which is a lot more difficult than the natural turn, <laughs> technically much harder to achieve, and you did it really well. The only comment I would have was the oversway, the bit of a picture line in the middle. I thought you could have a little bit more meat on the bones of that. Just don't be afraid to stretch them out. But for a semi-final, what a job. What well a done. job. I'm still not over the hair. Round of applause for Davey and Cody. <laughs> Done, Davey. Uh, Brian said that's the strongest he has seen you look, but it didn't feel like that for you. You were in a bit of a spin this week, am I right? I was definitely in a spin, it, it, but I, I felt going into the Viennese Waltz, it was a dance that I wanted to impress the judges because I felt that I wanted to put everything in to deserve my place in the final, if you know what I mean. Yes. And it took so long of the week, and Kylie had so much patience. I mean, like incredible patience, <laughs> and it took us the whole week just to get because when you go forwards and backwards and forwards and you have to change your steps and it was quite confusing for me, not for <laughs> the dancers, but uh, for me it was quite confusing, but um, we got there, you know, in the end, so it was great. Well, Lorraine loved it. She said it was a great Viennese waltz. You were so in character and you danced and played it beautifully. Kylie, are you happy with that? Absolutely. I think Davey always takes the steps and then he kind of turns it into his own by adding the character and you did that tonight and I'm so proud of you with whatever distractions, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good to just see you stay in character and keep going. I'm yeah, so proud of thank you. Thank you. Will the kids be watching at home? Will they be oh, scared by yeah, this? They'll, they'll love it. They'll be split in two, I'm sure. Finn and Tess will be behind the couch and Lily and Liam will be in front of the couch and Jamie's here tonight and Adele, so I'm delighted we're having a ball. It's, it's, it's transformed everything in Yall. The whole town of Yall is behind us, so it's really great. OK, Cheltenham. Yeah. Next week, do you see yourself there or here? Uh, unfortunately, my loyalties are with Dancing with the Stars. Ah, Christmas. look at them! Yeah. Look at them go! Woo! The scores are in. The judges have their scores. Brian Redmond. From Brian and I. Lorraine Barrett. A nine! Arthur Gurren Leah. It's a nine! But remember, it's not just up to the judges. If you want to keep Davy and Kylie away from the dance-off, you can text Davy R to 53125. Don't vote before we declare the lines open, as your vote won't count, but you will be charged, and you'll lose your reason. It's Davy and Kylie. Woo!